Uh, hi everyone, I'm Magdalena Romanowska and I'm very delighted to be here with you. Uh, today I, I would like to present you uh, some um, selected pre preliminary uh, results from my uh, qualitative intergenerational research study uh, about uh, old age and uh, learning about uh, being old. Uh, especially, I would like to uh, answer the question, how do young people learn about being old uh, in uh, Poland, in Warsaw, especially. So, uh, <clears throat> I would like to start uh, with some uh, short introduction, uh, then uh, move on to uh, some uh, theory about demographic changes in Europe. And uh, the next part will be about my uh, key find findings uh, from intergenerational interviews. And uh, the next part uh, will be about uh, examples of institutional practices of intergenerational uh, integration. Uh, first of all, I think that it's relevant to introduce my, uh, myself because uh, I have been working uh, for almost four years uh, for Intergenerational Activity Center in Warsaw. And uh, I am responsible there uh, basically for integration between different uh, generations. And uh, one of my tasks is to provide younger generation uh, generations with educational program about uh, learning on old age. And last year I decided to start PhD studies uh, on um, uh, University of Social Sciences and Humanities in Warsaw. Um, and my aim was to improve this uh, practical uh, program in, uh, in my workplace. Here you can see me and one of uh, the elderly person uh, who I work with um, uh, in my workplace. And uh, <clears throat> uh, let me say something uh, about um, demographic changes uh, in Europe and explanation why this uh, issue is uh, relevant. So one of the global uh, challenges is the fact of prolonging longevity Major demographic trends in Europe are demographic aging and a declining population. This demographic change is leading to fundamental social changes in the age structure, which have an impact on entire population. And here you can see that uh, this trend is going to be continued uh, during uh, next uh, decades uh, in uh, Europe. What is also important is, uh, is the fact that <clears throat> Uh, people, elderly people aged 80 plus are going to be more and more uh, significant part of our societies. And this, uh, this changes <clears throat> uh, affects the deepening of differences between generations and uh, contribute to the polarization of societies. Different experiences of the young people and the elderly result in increasing difficulties in reconciling their points of view. And it can also lead leads to uh, intergenerational uh, conflicts. And uh, <clears throat> it, is, it is relevant to, uh, to say something also about generationality because nowadays uh, we're uh, we are living in, uh, in a society with uh, almost seven generations coexisting together. So generationality is the system of relations between communities of people of similar age guided by uh, internally shared goals. Uh, <clears throat> oh no. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah. And uh, this, this conflicts can also uh, lead to 
to uh, ageism. Um, ageism refers to how we think, uh, how we feel and behave against others and also ourselves on the basis of uh, age. So uh, <clears throat> young people's attitudes nowadays in Poland uh, towards the elderly are generally negative and reinforce stereotypes about older people. And uh, what I found from this uh, in-depth interviews uh, with, <clears throat> with uh, both uh, young people and elderly um, is that <clears throat> this negative perception is shared uh, between both these groups. And my research uh, pr procedure <clears throat> Uh, relies on a few steps. The first steps are this in-depth in interviews with 10 young people uh, living in Warsaw and 10 elderly people uh, uh, also living in Warsaw. I decided to do this research in uh, capital, uh, capital city of Poland because of the influx nature of, of the city, because I'd like to also investigate uh, non-family ties, uh, non-family intergenerational interactions. And it is the first step of my PhD project. Then I will, uh, I will conduct research, a research workshop with 10 young people um, with, uh, with the use of supporting uh, technique, a geriatric, a geriatric suite. And uh, the last part uh, will be a visual study in the action day with senior consisting on pairing young people and uh, seniors and their task will be to photograph places, things and uh, phenomena from the environment of the elderly. So uh, I, uh, I ask <clears throat> young, young people, uh, what uh, do they think about old age and aging? And uh, generally, as I said, their attitudes are uh, negative. And what is interesting uh, is that uh, this, uh, they get knowledge about aging and uh, old age, uh, especially um, from their uh, family interactions. It is said uh, nowadays that this traditional uh, intergenerational uh, ties are going to be weaker. But from my research, it turned out that it's not uh, as um, fast phenomenon as we could uh, thought, because, uh, because generally they uh, echo uh, being grandparents uh, with being uh, elderly uh, people. So it's a quite risky situation because uh, young people used to, um, generally used to echo uh, these roles and they think that all, <laughs> uh, that generally uh, elderly people used to be uh, grandparents. So it's quite uh, limited uh, vision of uh, being old. Um, the other source of getting knowledge about aging uh, by young people from, uh, from uh, my research group uh, is the internet. And <clears throat> the risk of simplification, young, young people's vision of old age through uh, the internet focuses on the one hand, uh, on the lack of the direct contact with the elderly, and on the other hand, uh, due to their relatively lower digital competencies uh, of seniors, um, it makes it impossible to build uh, their generational identities in the uh, virtual world in an equal subjective uh, way. So here you can see, for example, some may, uh, some mem that uh, surely was prepared by the representatives of uh, younger generation, but I think it uh, shows quite uh, 
quite good uh, how they think about uh, this digital competences also uh, of seniors. So uh, at uh, Intergenerational Activity Center in, Wons in Warsaw, uh, where I work, we provide seniors with digital class uh, classes uh, to, um, to help them um, uh, use uh, computers, smartphones, uh, uh, etc. And uh, as I said, not only uh, young people uh, perceive old age in a negative way, uh, but also the elderly uh, used to think about it uh, in a stereotypical uh, way. So, for example, they, uh, they uh, often say that they don't like the word old, mm, they don't want to be uh, identified with, with this word, for example. And after uh, transition to the in, uh, retirement, they also uh, say that they don't feel ready for this. And they feel quite lonely uh, in uh, being, uh, being elderly uh, because as they say, mm, other younger generations uh, uh, don't, <clears throat> don't uh, notice them uh, in, the, in our society. So um, I would also like to present you some potential uh, solutions um, that I uh, use uh, in my work. So here you can see uh, posters that I, uh, I prepare with uh, the elderly from Intergenerational Activity Center. And we uh, present it, we release it uh, each week <laughs> at our center and on our uh, social media uh, with the uh, quote uh, of particulars uh, of part particular uh, people. And here, for example, you can see, uh, give yourselves to others, or I don't have time for thinking. Uh, what uh, is for me very uh, beneficial because uh, especially for my for my issue because uh, a lot of young people used to think that the elderly have a lot of time so here we can uh, we can see that it's not uh, uh, necessarily true um, as uh, the elderly uh, said and it's the one of the pot potential way of uh, combating um, ageism. Mm. Uh, the another uh, another uh, solution is learning about old age. Is this uh, <clears throat> uh, educational uh, program um, dedicated to younger generation, especially uh, students, pupils? Uh, and the aim of this program is to synthesize children, youth, and adults to the needs of the elderly. And during uh, these classes, we use geriatric suites, so uh, young people can um, a bit feel like uh, like uh, the elderly thanks to it. But but it's not only the one uh, the one way of um, uh, knowledge about. Uh, aging and uh, old age in our center. I also, I also uh, prepared different uh, workshops, uh, debates, discussions, uh, and um, the intergenerational uh, projects uh, based on uh, art. So uh, here you can see some uh, examples. And one of the most significant um, activities uh, is uh, Smocho Lipie group. It's an art group uh, <clears throat> uh, which consists of uh, the elderly from uh, Novo Lipie Street, from our inter intergenerational activity center on uh, Novo Lipie Street, and high school students uh, from uh, Smocha Streets. Uh, in our neighborhood. So one day we decided to 
um, co uh, to cooperate. And we have started from uh, this happening uh, with the names of, of the streets. And here in this picture, you can see uh, when, when uh, this, this Smoch Olipia group uh, put uh, letters Olipia to, to uh, the name of uh, Smocha Street. Yeah, so this, this is one of the <clears throat> example of this uh, art activities, uh, intergenerational activities. Mm. The another uh, example of uh, intergenerational uh, practices uh, is the last week of April. Uh, we uh, prepare uh, this time. We pre prepare this time. We prepare uh, intergenerational uh, week, not only in our center, but also in uh, all uh, all Warsaw. So. Uh, in this time, you can take part in different uh, various uh, workshops, debates, events, uh, and uh, it's dedicated to all generations. And uh, here, for example, you can see a, a special fashion show, um, what was preparing by uh, different uh, different. Uh, uh, intergenerational uh, pairs. For a few uh, months, they were preparing uh, their uh, outfits for this show, and on the on the uh, on the intergenerational solidarity day, uh, they showed it uh, to the publicity uh, in our center. And uh, after it, I also asked um, people. Uh, from these two uh, groups, what do they think about this kind of events? And for example, the uh, representative of the elderly um, said that it's very important, especially for uh, for the elderly uh, who don't have uh, grandchildren. So, uh, as I said before, uh, we uh, we focus on, uh, especially on this uh, group of people who. Uh, don't have uh, contacts, interactions uh, inside a family. Uh, and we give uh, these opportunities to, to meet some uh, younger generations thanks to this kind of events. And uh, <clears throat> uh, to sum up, uh, demographic changes reinforces an intergener intergenerational uh, tensions. Uh, the new phenomenon is coexisting a higher number of generations comparing to the past. Uh, the young people uh, from Warsaw know old age by interactions with their family members and via the internet. One of the potential solutions of these problems are institutional practices of building intergenerational dialogue, including non-family relationships. And according to our experience, the most successful are workshops uh, based on art. Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.